Hi, Jack. It's all about. Yes, yes, Kate. He's in the cellar, cleaning it for the umpteenth time. I suggested that he went down to the yard and gave Finn and Lewis a hand, but he wouldn't hear a word of it. Well, he can't stay here forever getting under my feet. At some point, he's got to get back out into that big, wide world. He can't. He's obsessed about seeing Mum's body in the chapel arrest. <sighs> he's just stuck there and he can't move on. Hi. Can I have a word, please, Dad? Sure. It's about the club. I feel I ought to tell you since I your name's on the list. Ollie Cunningham? You know. Yeah, we'll phone me when he found out drugs were involved. I've been in touch with the magistrate and as of midnight, I'm withdrawing the licence. I don't blame you, Dad. I'm sorry, Ruth, but I can't afford to be associated with drugs. Has Taylor changed his mind about going to the police? No. Oh, maybe I should have a word with him. There's no point. It's you he's covering up for. Me? And Lewis, I suppose. Security have been selling ease at the loft. Taylor saw them. He went to go and tell Lewis. They must have heard him. That's why he had his head kicked in. Know this for a fact, do you? Ask Taylor if you don't believe me. At least he had the guts to do something about it instead of telling a blind eye like Lewis did. Lewis wouldn't be involved in something like that. And you know that for a fact, do you? Well, if I were you, I wouldn't breathe a word of it to anyone. For Taylor's sake, as much as anyone else's. See ya. Is Lewis around? Oh, we just missed him. He's on his way to an auction with Finn. He said I could borrow his smoke machine. Uh, did you want to look up? Yeah, sure. Cheers. Lewis, it's me. I need to speak to you urgently. Give me a call as soon as you get this message, either on my mobile or at the back. Down. Gibbs got eight years and the other's got three and a half. Oh, tell Luke I'm really pleased for him. Yeah, we'll do. Dad's taken his name off the licence as of midnight tonight. What? Where'd you find that? In the office, along with everything else you said was taken in the robbery. Why? It doesn't matter. Answer the question, will you? Oh, I needed the money. You know, when the flag got burgled, I thought I could make a bit on the insurance. But you earn money. You, you don't need to break the law for it. Yeah, well, I was desperate, wasn't I? You know, I had a load of debts I needed to clear. What debts? Money home from gambling. <gasps> debts to who? It really doesn't matter. Who? Lorraine. And how much do you owe Lorraine exactly? It's really not important. Either you tell me or I ask her myself. Well, I have four grand. How's that? Yes, ma'am. Well, why didn't you tell me before? Sorry, be because it's not important. And me and Finn had it sorted. Like, I didn't see any point involving you. Right. No, please, please. Please. Don't suppose you've persuaded Taylor to go to the police yet? Not now, Kate. No, of course you haven't. You're quite happy to have him covering for you. It doesn't owe me anything. Well, what about you? Let's go on. Not now, Kate, all right? You are staying in the spare room tonight. Don't be like that. Come I on. don't want you anywhere near me. Not till you're prepared to be straight with me. I have been straight with you. You steal my jewellery. You stand by and let one of our friends take a beating. You get into debt and don't even tell me. And you think that's being straight with me, I'm do you? sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I meant to tell you sooner, OK? But, like, I didn't want to get you involved. You're supposed to trust me, Lewis! What do you know about trust? <laughs> a lot more than you. I couldn't rely on you. I mean, look at you. You can't even handle the responsibility of a club, never mind a child. I'd have done anything for that baby. You never even gave me a chance! You didn't deserve one! <laughs> 